Andrew Verity, well, joining me now is the Chief Operating Officer of Wonga, Neil uh, Vass. Uh, first of all, Neil Vass, did you realise that your image was so bad at Wonga that you had to make your own movie? Well, today we're announcing a movie called 12 Portraits from a director called Gary Tarn, and he's trying to dispel some of the myths that our image that you refer to uh, you know, has out there in, in the UK. I think if you look at the movie, what you'll see is a representation of our customer base, 12 portraits in fact, um, representing actually a million active customers. So you can make up your own mind. Yes, I mean, he was hired by uh, Wong to make the movie. He's not doing it as an independent, uh, acting independently from you. What about the, the criticism that these are 12 happy customers and so therefore it isn't a rounded picture because these are 12 customers who presumably have paid their money back on term quickly and that is not the case for all your customers? Yeah, I think um, Gary, first of all, had complete editorial independence uh, over what he made. He chose the customers himself. Um, we gave him a database, he selected them. We, we have a million active customers, so as you rightly let, pointed just, out. Can I just, just take you back in there? Freehand, you know, he was, you know, he who pays the piper plays a tune, that's first of all. And actually, if Gary Tarn had produced a film which showed somebody defaulting on their uh, Wonga loan, having to perhaps play you know, 375% credit, uh, getting another loan to pay off a Wonga loan, destitute, on the pavement, are you, would you have been happy that would have been the film? Well, there are 12 portraits, one of whom actually has defaulted. And if you, if you, look, at the intre if you look at the interest and fees on our, on our site, yeah. OpenWonga, you'll see that included with one of those is a default of one of the customers. But, so, th but this customer is not a destitute customer. No, and the vast no. majority of our customers are not. And this is why we're making the film, because the perception out there is that all of our customers are poor and vulnerable, and we think the voice of the silent majority, the people who actually use the service, is not being heard. But the trouble is, if you present too rosy a picture, it encourages people that perhaps really can't afford it to take a loan. I just want to play a little uh, clip. We, we heard from Liz Matthews in the film, and this is what happened to her. I got into a vicious cycle where I'd borrowed altogether four loans and in the end I just could not pay any of them back. So how much was the original loan and the how much do you owe now? The original was for £300 and I owe now nearly uh, £2,000. And I was very frightened, I was very worried. I thought, how am I going to pay this back? You know, and it's just, just so worrying. You can't sleep. You just can't sleep at night. Now, Liz Matthews, um, she had a first Wonga loan, then a second Wonga loan. I mean, what were the affordability checks? You say you do affordability checks, but I mean, she got herself into terrible trouble. Yes, yeah, so well, I can't comment on, on Liz's particular case because I'm not familiar with it. That's yeah. the first I've heard of it. Um, I don't even, I'm not even sure if Liz is actually a Wonga customer she is. or not. She's she the is. First, first loan she took out six months ago, she mm. took 300, which she paid back, and then she took 400, and then she got into trouble. Uh, because the thing about Liz Matthews is, and everybody else, is you don't require any documents, proof of what they're saying is true. So what we do, Kirsty, is we, we look at a lot of information about each of the customers, up to about 8,000 pieces of data. That includes the underlying credit reference agencies, it includes even things about how they navigate our site. So, for example, if they slide right up to the right, it's a good indicator that they may and not pay us back. Does that take an hour, a day, a week? No, it's, uh, it's an online service, like most online so how services. Quick can that it's check quite be quick. Made? That, that check can be made very quickly, and we mustn't confuse speed. Minutes? We mustn't confuse speed with accuracy. Well, well Be exactly, because I was going to say that the thing about Liz Matthews is I spoke to her today mm. and she admitted to me that she had put down that she was employed on both occasions mm. and she wasn't employed. Okay. And so therefore she received money from you having clearly would not have passed an affordability yeah. check. So people do get access to money on Wonga and indeed other payday loan sites who are simply not capable of paying it back. She has got herself into terrible financial trouble now. And you have no way of checking that. We have a lot of ways of checking that, Kirsty. And, you know, uh, but not Liz, with her. Liz, Liz may be a case that I don't right now have the details in front of me. What we're 
here to talk to about is that there are a million customers of whom yeah. the vast, vast, vast majority are happy and yes. that their voice has not been heard. No, but I, and they're being would... misrepresented as people who are like Liz, as all poor and vulnerable and get themselves into a spiral of debt. That is simply not true. It is the case that about 7.5% either have rollovers, which cost them a lot of money, or indeed do default on their total uh, amount. Those people, would you agree, are often desperate and will say things to get money when they are ill they can ill afford to pay it back. I would not agree that they're desperate. I think what you'll see, and I, the reason I'm actually here and sitting here and made that film was because I've spent every, since I joined the business last year, every week looking at our customer feedback and I've actually been surprised by two things. One, the extremely positive reaction from many of our customers, including stories like you'll see in the film, 12 portraits and hundreds of thousands of others and the second thing that I've been surprised about is the reaction of the media and other commentators to calling out the the, the exceptions like Liz and assuming that everyone is like that. No, no, and but the balance if, is if not, we're talking about seven, I'm sorry, correct. if we're talking about seven and a half percent rollovers and defaults, that's a substantial figure. But tell me, are you confident that customers know exactly the consequences of taking out a Wonga loan? I'm very confident that we sh we show everything as clearly and transparently as we possibly can. The price is, is, is marked very clearly on the sliders. The terms under which people borrow from us are marked very, very uh, clearly. And the fact that 90% of our customers would recommend us to a friend is probably evidence that, that, that they agree with us. But well, well, I'm just talking about the implications, I want you to tell me how you explain this. And this is a, a, an interview we did with one of the country's most senior mortgage lenders. Our experience is that if somebody's had a payday loan within the last few months, lenders will either automatically reject the application or will ask lots of questions about why that person can afford a mortgage now when they were clearly living from hand to mouth quite recently. And so in order to address that problem, because people don't appreciate the issues, I think it would be very sensible if payday loan lenders were required by the regulator to state on all their literature that taking out a payday loan may prejudice your ability to get a mortgage. Now that is a senior mortgage broker. And you know, even if your customers are happy and pay back, the very fact of having taken out a Wonga loan may impact on your ability to get a good mortgage. So I can't possibly comment on the other financial institutions' policies, and the regulator will decide if they think that's an appropriate but response. But he is a senior uh, mortgage broker in the United Kingdom, and what he's saying is that on terms of a whole credit rating, if you've taken a Wonga loan, mm. you're less likely to get a decent mortgage. I've been on the website several times today, and at nowhere do you say caution if you take out a Wonga loan. It may prejudice your ability. As I said, I can't comment on the policies of other financial institutions. But do you and think I don't you think, should say that? I don't think that is, that is the policy of every single financial institution. What I think but do you is being no, missed just here... To, to stick with this, because this is about transparency, and I think it's really important because you claim that you know, Wonga is transparent. It is a fact that if you take out a loan from a payday loan company, when you go to put your mortgage application in, and goodness me, help to buy is, you know, is tough enough, that it may impact on your ability to get a good mortgage. It would be very simple to put that rider on your website. Why don't you do it? Because, as I've explained, I don't know that that is the policy of every single financial institution, mm. as, your, as your colleague there says, or your, your interviewee says there, if the regulator thinks that's an appropriate thing to do, they'll do that. We have, we're going through a process with the OFT are reviewing our business, the Competition Commission is reviewing our business, and the FCA are doing the same. I'm sure they will but, tighten up practices across the whole of the sure, industry absolutely. and, and but this deal is, with this those is, things this is interesting. necessary. This is interesting because you know, the regulator is looking at you. You say you want to be transparent, and obviously you want to do well out of the regulator's inquiry. Here's an opportunity to say, actually, caution, it may impact on your ability to get a good mortgage. Therefore, why don't you be proactive and put that in your website? So there are a lot of things that, that are out there that we could do or others could do, depending on their opinion. And what we see is that there is a huge misperception over the myths about Wonga that's out there. And what we're trying to do is to show that actually that silent majority of people who are not being heard and mainly commentators who haven't used the service, who haven't really mm. taken and borrowed but money for a, a week or 10 days or whatever, are making commentary about our customers. No, and we think that is very, very unfair. That's not commentary about your customers. 
what this mortgage broker is saying is that the evidence of having a payday loan could impact on the chances of getting a decent mortgage. If that, if you go and check that tomorrow, and that proves to be true, put it on your website now. Kirsty, as I said, I've said two or three times now, I don't know what the financial institution's policies are. What I'm well, here... Well, we will find out and well, put it on your we website. Can absolutely, we can absolutely find out about and that. And if it's true, put it on your website. To, we will talk to the regulator about what the appropriate policy for us to do in that circumstance. But, if, However, but why wouldn't you put it on your website? Because you think it might deter people from taking out a, a payday loan. Uh, Kirsty, we're, we're here to talk about misperceptions yes. about customers, yes. right? Yes. Um, many of the p misperceptions are is that it may affect something in their future life, it may, they're, they're, they're poor and vulnerable, and the evidence that I see is that that is not the case in the vast majority of cases. We have e looked at our customer base and we have invited an independent person to examine that. E a and vulnerable person, can I just, I think you must understand, I'm not suggesting that vulnerable people should be told that it might be difficult to get a good mortgage. I'm saying that anybody that takes out a payday loan, who maybe rents a wonderful house and wants to buy, may be impacted by the fact of having taken out a payday loan. Not necessarily people that are destitute, people that are in a position to be going to look for a mortgage. If it is the case that you check what that gentleman said tomorrow and find it to be true, will you, in the, in the, in the, in the, the, the pursuit of tr uh, transparency, put it on your website? Well, if, I don't know which, which particular building society or, or, or bank he's referring to. We'll certainly have a look at that and, and I'll come back to you. I think the, the reality is if people don't pay back um, the money that they have agreed to pay back, and by the way, on average, we're lending money for 17 days, so it's not exactly a very long period of time. If they don't pay that back, then of course that may impact their credit rating, their underlying credit rating. But what we think is... It even if it pay it back, it will impact. Oh, that is, I'm saying, this was a senior, Kensington uh, mortgage brokers, a senior figure in the industry, saying that it's not whether or not you pay it back on time, it's the fact of having yes, had I, it. Yes, I, under, I understood that point. And there are many other, there are many other commentaries on our business, such as the price that you referred to your intro, which are myths about our business. And what we're trying to do is to get people to reimagine, have a look at openwonga.com where we're sharing all of our stats, have a look at the film on there. You make your own judgment as to whether or not our product is fair and transparent and those customers are intelligent people that actually, in my opinion, represent the average person in the UK. Neil West, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.